Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time we did the golf shrine, if you know what that is, you should know the pain that comes along with it. And if you don't, probably better off this way. But anyway, now, let's go over here because there's um, a Korok thing here. But the block is over there. We can see an underwater thing of it over here. So that shows where it needs to go, right there. Just like that. Oh no, it needs to be. I see. It's it's in the uh, in the underwater version. It's over there because it's not complete. Okay, there we go. Now the Korok. Let me mark that off of this new region that we haven't even got the tower for yet. I'm I'm still keeping track. I I have to for the cookie. For the cookie! Ah. Uh, let's go over to the stable and see if there's anything over there for us. Now I think we're going to continue heading towards the tower if we can. Oh, I missed. That would have been a good shot though. Anyway, let's grab all this choo-choo jelly. Which I think we actually needed for something. Oh, we 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 will need it for something. By the way, you can shoot these mushrooms down and they actually fall down, which is interesting. Except that one up there, you got stuck on the rock, so. And I think we don't get our arrows back from that, which is unfortunate. But anyway, here's this stable. And let's see what's here. Well, there's some mushrooms out the back. Also, I, I realized I only have one apple. So if I need apple for Korok seeds, it's gonna be a problem because I don't have enough. Topaz, this preciously precious yellow gem contains the power of electricity. It's been known to fetch a high price since ancient times. Cool. Just what I need, probably. Let's blow up some stuff. Did that drop anything? Did it drop up there? It might have dropped up there. Or might have glitched through the wall, or any number of things. Balloons. Floaty balloons. I sometimes see in my it in my dreams. Do you think that a long time ago people used to live in the sky? I think so. This is a reference to Skyward Sword. Hey mister, just once in my life I want to see balloons float up. Float right up into the sky. If you'll help me realize my balloon dream, I'll give you a treasure I got from the skies, thanks. You got a treasure from the skies? Is it, is it like a goddess cube or something? You know? That'd be cool though, if there were goddess cubes in Breath of the Wild. Not that we need more collectibles, but you know. Leave it to me. Thank you! Now put some balloons onto a barrel and make it float up high. Wait, is this a thing that you can actually do? Also balloon flight. Which is a reference to the, the video game balloon. Okay. All of the references all at once. I think what we need to do though is actually get the Octa Balloon. And then... I think it's just drop it onto this. Oh, yep, there we go. <laughs> I don't... I didn't realize you could do this, but oh my goodness, that looks so silly. <laughs> just this Octo Balloon just... Floating this barrel up into the sky. If I get my hands on like a hundred Octo balloons, you know I'm just gonna leave these ox balloons flying everywhere. Except I don't think there's enough barrels around the place to do that, so. Anyway. Floaty! Balloons soaring high into the sky. Fly up and away into the land in the clouds. I want to visit the land in the sky by balloon. Well, you, you don't. You might, in Breath of the Wild too, because there's the castle that's rising in the sky, we don't know much about that as of recording this, so... It's possible that the land in the sky is an actual place we can go to. Then I'm going to ride a really big bird. That is definitely a reference to the Sky of Sword. Yep, that's my dream. Thank you, mister. This is a treasure from the sky. Here, take it. A star fragment. Cool, I need one of those, but not actually. Oh, that also just broke. That just ruined my hopes and dreams. I really wanted to... I was gonna laugh if that went right back to where it was originally. It almost did. 
But anyway. Hi. Hello there, traveller. Welcome to our stable. We stay you will stay a while, won't you? If you have a horse, we can help you change its gear or main style. <laughs> We're always happy to meet new horses, so stop on by. That's interesting. Also the rain. Thanks, rain. Can I Oh my goodness, lightning. Oh my goodness, lightning. Ah, ah, quick, change everything. Bring out the stick. And the change the bow. The shield's fine there. And the armor doesn't matter, so. Okay, I'm not gonna get struck by lightning anymore. Can I, um... Can I, like, take my horse that's hiding halfway across the world? Ah, uh, Jack. Yeah, take Jack. Thank you for getting my horse from off that bridge. Oh. Oh. Should we travel by road? You can leave the steering up to your steed and just enjoy the scenery. What? If you travel by road, our horse just does it for you. What? Like, actually? Like, can I just, like, do that and it's just going to take me where I want to go? Oh my goodness, I'm not pressing any buttons right now. I'm not touching my controller. My controller is on my desk. My hands are clapping. Oh my goodness. I had no idea that this was a thing. Can I even yard go faster and it will still do it? Oh my goodness. This is great. Anyway, let's um, stop here for a second. Hopefully my horse doesn't get struck by lightning. <laughs> Normal things. Well, let's have a look at some of these, some of these, some of these cobblins. Just like that. I have a stick, but I think I'm actually going to switch over to my guardian spear. And let's see if I can get them struck by lightning, because that'd be cool. That one's holding a sword, so it could get struck by lightning. But the one holding a, an actual club is going to be fine, so... I think I'm gonna lure them out over this way. Oh my goodness. How are they not getting struck by lightning? He's even got a metal shield. Back up. I'm pretty sure they can get struck by lightning, but this one doesn't seem to want to. He really should though. I don't know why it wouldn't get struck by lightning. Lots of trees are getting struck by lightning. That's probably why it's not getting struck by lightning, is because we're in the middle of a forest type thing. But surely, surely this one would get struck by lightning. I want it to happen, but it doesn't seem to want to happen. Please? This is actually upsetting me. Let me just beat it up. There we go. Very upset. But at least uh, I can show that if it's just sitting on the ground. Maybe. Also, this is a different type of shield, so I'm gonna take a picture of that. Soldier's shield. A shield once used by the guards of Hyrule Castle. It's easy to handle, but its core is made of wood, so it can catch fire. Oh, okay. Are well, these not going to get struck by lightning? Maybe they're just not able to get struck by lightning. You know? Maybe they're just not able to get struck by lightning. Oh, never mind. Now it's sparking. I just wish it was earlier. Oh, and there goes the shield. Pretty sure I've already got that. Yep, it's blue, so it's not a thing. Anyway, let's actually focus on getting our reward and then moving on, probably. There's also this thing in the tree that I could get, possibly. Like that. And then, since it's raining, the bees aren't doing anything. Nice. And let's... Ah! I can probably just still get struck by lightning just randomly, but I'd have to be really unlucky for that. Anyway, let's just keep on moving. Open up that. It's, it's not... 
every every single time I look at a rock, it just seems like I'm gonna find a Korok. But that's definitely not, not the case. Anyway, I can still see the sable from here, so we haven't gone very far. So let's just keep on going. And I'm still not pressing the control stick at all. It's still just going along the road. That is such a useful mechanic. I'm sad that I didn't know about it until now. Anyway. Raru settlement ruins. Let's have a look around. I feel like there's probably going to be... Oh, there's um, some goblins fighting some stuff over there. But I feel like there's also going to be a Korok around here, maybe? Just because it's a place, and places usually have a high chance of having Koroks around. Hey, you're right. You don't need my help, right? Oh, my thing broke. That's fine. I have more. Please target the other one. There we go. I've already got that, and I've already got... No, I don't have this. Okay, Spike Poker Shield. I've probably seen it before, though. Yeah, I have. Because it's got the name next to it. Spike Boker Club. Yep. Oh, and there's an Bokoblin guts here. Thank Haria that Mina is safe. I knew it wasn't smart to go treasure hunting in these parts. We're alright. We should count ourselves lucky for that. Yes, you should. I'm just gonna hop in the well real quick. There's no actual pit inside of it, which would have been interesting. But anyway, is there actually a Korok around here? There's a mushroom. How much of this area is actually the ruin? Not a lot, apparently. That's fine. I guess I'll just have to keep moving on then. Also, I'm pretty sure I can mount a horse while I'm gliding. Yeah, you can. It's an interesting thing, but anyway, let's just follow the road. Is this a Korok? I really need to just ignore Koroks at the moment. Okay, that seems alright. So let's just keep on moving. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Got some wolves just here to ruin my day. There's actually a bit more of it. It looks like this is actually higher up and it's actually collapsed a bit more. I'm actually going the wrong way now. Let me turn around. Because over there looks scary. Let's figure out what I'm going to do. Oh, there's an Octorok as well. So it looks like the path up there is a land slided down. So I can probably leave Jack here and head up, so... I wonder if there's actually... There's probably a different path I was supposed to take to get up there, which is probably the one that I saw before the Sable. Let me just go do that then. This is so nice, not having to control. It seems to bounce off the edges a little bit. Like it goes zigzagging along the path. Oh, there's a path right here. Okay, let's go up this way. Looks like that leads somewhere else. But this is the way I want to go, so... And it looks like we have some camps ahead. Oh my goodness. What's over here? This place looks very interesting. Which is something that I can say with with normally having just skipped over most of this area. We have a lot of bog around here, so if you go into that, you're going to fall and die. That skull's definitely gone under. Is that a, um... What is that? That's a treasure chest in there. Oh, that's actually not under... in the mud. That's just in here. Okay. A sapphire. I think I've seen one of these before, maybe? A precious blue sm a gem mined from natural rock formations. Sapphires contain the very essence of ice. They've been known to fetch a high price since ancient times. Also, I might have made a mistake by going over here because now I'm in the middle of this 
death. But luck luckily I can still use Coronis on this and just keep going up. It's probably best to leave my horse behind while I'm here. But oh my goodness, look at this path. It's just all over the place. This is probably why the ruins are right next to here. Or possibly because there's a lot of camps over here since the Bacoblins and Moblins have taken over. I think though, I can head further up the path over this way. I'm also going to change this stamp since we're going there. Let's see if I can follow the path a little bit more before actually going into that area. Another big tree. Oh, and some nuts just rolling down the hill. There's a camp area over here. I think I'm going to leave Jack here now. Take a look around. Actually, looks like Lizalfos are actually camped out here. Oh my goodness, is that... How far away... Oh my goodness, is that the Great Plateau? I can't even tell. It might be. But no, I don't... Maybe not. I could just be wrong. But then there's that there. No, that is... Somewhat over by the Great Plateau. This world is just huge. And looking at it from different angles is strange. Very strange. Is this where the path is trying to take me? I'm not sure. It does seem a bit all over the place because of all the... Bog everywhere. Okay, um... This path just seems to go up and up. Well, that's the tower. So, I think I'm gonna go... back a little bit. What's that electricity stuff doing over there? That's concerning. Anyway, let's get started. Probably, this is, this is probably not the intended path. Oh my goodness, don't jump into that, please. Don't jump into that! Oh my goodness. There's probably a little bit just underneath. A little bit. But anyway, let's just keep moving. There's a metal box here we can move. And I think if I drop it into there, it's not going to sink all the way. So I can actually use that as a little bit of a platform, but I'm still going to use ice. Still going to use Cranus to get through a little bit of this. Oh, there's a goblin. Goodbye. Oh, is that? Oh, I see. I think there's a Lizalfos in the water that's creating electricity. And when it gets near the electric platforms, it just makes them zap. Zappy zappy. Let's shoot that a whole bunch and maybe actually use bomb arrows. No, uh, just regular arrow for this last shot. More shots. And there we go. Now that's that's taken care of, we can actually walk along these precarious platforms. Hopefully not falling into the bog. There we go. I think we need to climb up here. The usual way I do this is actually just by um, going up to a higher area like over that way. And then gliding down to the tower almost all the way. So I haven't usually gone over here. Is that a... No, it's not. This is a very weird place. But it's fine. Also, there's a skull on top of the Sheikah Tower. Because that was probably underneath it when the tower rose. That's a bomb. Oh my goodness. That works. If it comes closer, if it would come closer, I don't think it sees me. Somehow. Oh. Oh, but the... This is going to end very badly, I can already tell.
I don't think I can sneak while holding this, so I'm just gonna have to... Chuck that and blow them up. There we go. That might have also been a different type of moblin, so I, so I should have checked that beforehand. But anyway, let's go ahead and open this. There's a fire whiz robe here as well. Might be worth taking a picture of you. Since he's also got a fire rod. It is just basically the same as a... What's it called? A, um... Electric whiz robe, but it's just fire instead. Oh my goodness, how'd that miss? How'd that miss? There we go. Ice instantly gets him, so... Let's climb up this a little bit more. Oh my goodness. You've made a terrible mistake, my friend. And that mistake is having bombs right there. Anyway, let's grab all that, and then... Looks like I can keep climbing. This is actually a very interesting, um, like, outpost type thing around this tower. This little moblin camp. Oh, okay, let's climb up this. And we're going to have our next tower. It's been a while since we had the last one. And I think I'm going to use my climbing bandana to actually get up this faster. useful. Just up there. Okay. Gonna keep looking around for shrines as well. Since those are gonna be around somewhat. We have a lot more stamina than we had when we went to a, the last tower. I think the last one we went to was actually Lodneru. And Tateno area. Tateno was probably just beforehand. So it's definitely... We've definitely changed a lot during the time we were at Zora's Domain. There we go. Let's activate this tower. Well, there we go. But that... Oh my goodness, the thing just floating out of the ground. It looks so funny. Anyway, if that is it for this episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We have a new area to explore. We can see the shrine that we started at way over there from, like, two episodes ago or something like that now. But yeah, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.